Hits, what's good with you, bro? Yo, what's good, gang? Not much, man. It's about time we do this interview, man. It's long overdue. Yeah, man. I just been, I just been moving around like a motherfucker. You know how that be. Yeah, definitely traveling. I see you moving around a lot, bro. Okay, so first off, I want to start out like, where are you from? How was it growing up? Um, I'm from Chatham, bro. Specifically okay. from Saint Ivor State. Okay. Saint Ivor Cottage. That's all. That's my shit right there, bro. Okay. Uh, we was, we was, we grew up real fast. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we was smart. We adapted and shit like that. You know. Okay. Definitely, definitely growing up in the hood. Okay. That's it. All right. So now, one thing I got to ask you, man. Um, shit, donating and shit like that. You know, how did you feel donating diapers and shit like that? What made you want to, you know, give back like that? Because a lot of niggas don't do that shit. I mean, like, in my neighborhood, I'm always very, very active. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like coming up at Shorties, we was a part of the problem, so... Okay. I try to be part of the solution. So, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of uh, rioting going on, you know, looting. Oh, yeah, that day, yeah. Yeah, so I see, like, a lot of uh, single moms and shit, or even dads were saying, like, I don't have any pampers, I don't have any food for my baby. I was seeing this all over the internet, you know what I'm saying? Cause, right. Um, the looting and shit, so. Yeah. I just start, you know, just banning the shit and uh, just giving out to families. You know, we ended up. Giving away to over a hundred families. Wow, know. baby formula too. I heard. Yeah, baby formula, uh, diapers and shit. You know what okay, saying? You okay. Gotta look out for the people. Look out for you. Definitely. And I never heard anybody say it like that, man. You grew up as a shorty, a part of the problem. So, lonely hey. right to get back. I never heard it like man, that before. Bro, they gonna tell you, man. We we is out here running real, real wild. You know what I'm saying? And right. Not not to glorify none of that shit or none of that, but you know what I'm saying. If I can make it different, I'm gonna try. Okay. So, Definitely, and that's what's up, bro. That's what's up, you know. And as blacks, we got to stick together because of what's going on right now in Trump's America and shit like that. So, you know that? yeah, definitely. Okay, so now being the king of Chatham, the neighborhood, man, like, how does that feel? How did you get that stamp? Um, really, like, it was like from just doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I even had, I even do shit with like I do five features like a couple months ago. I just did five features for the low. You wow. Know what I'm okay. Man? I just gave back to like, I had like, uh, you could email me and like a child on family. Just okay. email me and just say they was in need, like three, four families. I just gave all the future money to them. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so it's just being like that, you know what I'm saying? Just being active, being active in your community, standing up for our shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, with this music shit, I'm putting us on the map, really, so. Definitely, definitely. You know, I, uh, I heard of you through P. Rico, my homie P. Rico. Shout out P. Rico. Yeah, Good dude. yeah, yeah, that's my definitely. boy. Shout out P. Dot, man. Definitely. Like, we made a lot of history in this city, bro. No bullshit. Yeah, Mr. Hang with me. Yeah, man. Okay. I fuck with bro. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of controversy in the media, man. You know, of course, every artist has controversy, no matter if they're from Chicago, Atlanta, New York, Baton Rouge. Right. It doesn't matter. You know, everybody has shit going on everywhere. So, may we speak on the situation with Lil Reese? Um, there was a video that surfaced with him. You know, getting jumped at a gas station, yeah. um, you know, and a lot of people was, you know, making fun of the video because I guess he, you he know. He shit it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I can't say that I'm for that. You know, I, I want I the best for everybody. But Yeah, I understand, man. It's like, it's just personal shit, bro. That's right. That's all it is. Like, you just can't play with everybody, bro. You right. Know what I'm so, you can't just... Let the media pump your head up and just think you're just so big and so tough and you can just play with anybody. Right. It's like me, I stay in my lane, bro. I chill, I get to the money, I be with my family. You know what I'm saying? I make music, but if you play with me, bro, you're going to bring that side out of me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, that's really all it was, bro. Some personal shit. Okay, so that was a personal situation you had with him. Had you already, had you been cool with him or? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Fuck no. Okay. I was never cool with him, bro, but we just got like. Bad history, bro. You know, niggas uh, don't, niggas, our crowds don't fuck with each other and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We bumped heads in the past, like, and 10 so he years just, ago. This shit been, it just okay. been going on behind the scenes. I just don't be doing all that internet yeah, shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? Some fame shit. Right. Okay. Now, I don't want to get too into detail with it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I know the internet don't need to know everything, but how did the situation really go down, like, with the gas station? Did you guys just happen to see each other? Were you guys just running into each other on a random day, or? Man, honestly, bro, 
we had just bumped heads like three, three, four months before that. You know oh, what okay. We, we had, we had got to it. He was with his homies. He was feeling himself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Tried some little tough shit. I wasn't going. You know, he said what he said. I went for my move, and it was what it was. Okay, okay. But after that, you don't do that, and just think you're just gonna be able to chill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't think you're not just gonna be able to just go in a gas station after you just tried to play with me like that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta really. Right. You gotta really be cautious, bro. You gotta know how to move in the streets if you know you got ops. Hey, at for that real, point, for real though, know? that's real shit, bro. I think right. motherfuckers just be underestimating people because of the names and the media and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah. You just lacking, bro. That's all it was. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, when you said names, you know, how do you feel about a lot of blog sites like DJ Academics, College Kid, and everybody that gives you guys certain names? They call him the Grim Reaper, and you know, they call Pete Rico the uh, Vegeta. Vegeta, and shit. <laughs> you know, how, how do you guys feel about the names that a lot of these guys give you guys, and the way they talk? You know, there's Chirac World News, whatever. Yeah, you know. I mean, like. I, I wouldn't even necessarily put college kid in there. I fuck with college kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like a lot of us came up with uh, like rap catch up, college kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they help yeah, promote. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, They're good sites. Yeah, college kid don't really indulge in the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Right, they R. don't. He smiles. He had a song called College Kid. They was like, we was really locked in, but like, right. I mean, at the end of the day, media they just doing their jobs, bro. Academics, yeah. that shit, that should be. You know what I'm saying? That should be their jobs, bro. Their job is to report what they see going on and. Mm -hmm make the best stories out of that shit so right. our job is to live our lives and make sure we don't give y'all no wild ass shit to talk about you know what i'm saying right. because that's all they Definitely. can feed off of bro yeah 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 negativity and shit like that you know yeah, um yeah. a lot of them will post something negative before something positive you yeah know? i ain't gonna lie and that sure. shit that shit mm -hmm. really that shit really really lame i ain't gonna lie right what right. shit we really you know what i'm saying it's like people supporting that shit so it ain't really too much I don't give no fuck about that shit, bro. Okay, definitely. You know I mean? That shit just lame. Right. Well, you know, Chicago is a trans-setting city right now as far as hip-hop goes. Oh, you know? man, for sure, bro. Like, mm -hmm. Chicago, like, we control the culture, bro. Right, definitely, it all, man. It all starts definitely. up, you know what I'm saying? Ops, thoughts, them words came from you guys, bro. Hey, real shit, bro. Like, we changed the world with this shit, man. I don't think a lot of people understand that, like, Maybe in like 10, 20 years down the line, they're going to look back on all of us and like, damn, that shit was legendary. Mm -hmm. you know what right, I'm right, right. Hopefully nobody, no more lives are lost. You know, we're losing, you know, a lot of artists left and right. And I hate that. Yeah, you know, really. I understand that, bro. It's you just, know. you know, right. it, it just come with, it just come with the lifestyle, bro. Right. You, 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 um, you smoking on dead people. Yeah. Rapping all this gangster shit. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even so I'm living that gangster shit. You got to be right. ready for what come with it, bro. Right. But you know what? It's it's other things to sell music, man. It's it's always other ways. Like myself doing music. You know, I, I go to porn and sexual route with bitches and shit like that. <laughs> you know, sex sales. And then you yeah. know, there's other things like controversy. You know, beef doesn't have to be the only thing that sells in hip hop. You know, there yeah, can I be agree. other things. But, you know, unfortunately, it's just the right the media plays a lot into it. You got a lot mm -hmm. of bloggers and stuff. That's never stepped foot in Chicago. Right. First thing they see, they gonna report it. Mm -hmm. just, That's look, true. People love controversy. It's people mm -hmm. from Wyoming. It's people from France and Germany, and, yeah. Portugal, blogging. Japan. You know, talk about this yeah. shit. Right. Shout out to all them countries too, man. Y'all be streaming my shit, man. My shit, I fuck with it. For sure. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, now is it okay to ask about your uh, beef with Benji Glow and um, you know Trey Savage? R.I.P. Trey Savage. He just passed away recently. Yeah, man. I don't get no fuck about that shit, bro. Like that's like that's like old like shit too. I mean that's like ongoing shit too. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like right. Um. Yeah, he just passed. You know, I don't disrespect the dead. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not gonna lie and say we was cool or no shit like before he passed. It was definitely never no shit like that. Right. We from two two ends. He was gonna never be cool. Or I ain't gonna lie about that. Right. So niggas just niggas was bumping heads and all that shit. Niggas still bumping heads. Well, not really. You feel me? Benji okay. ass blind now. So. Oh wow! <laughs> well, I, I knew it was a situation <laughs> like that. But, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. He got shot in this shit, bro. Like he blind, so he ain't really. He can't really do shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, he makes good music. I, I rock with his music. Nah. 
That's not right. trash, bro. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? That ain't for me to speak. <laughs> I don't fuck with it. I ain't no hater either, bro. That shit is just not really good to me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now, I want to ask you about, man, you know, there's a lot of pioneers in drill shit, man, you know, from both sides, mm -hmm. actually. Right. You know, how do you feel being one of the pioneers in this shit? Man, bro, like, that shit, like, when you look at it, like, look at where we started. Me and Smiles started, like, on the floor in the basements and shit, you know Good what I'm dude, saying? man. Smiles is a legend. Yeah, that's my brother, so you gotta, got my boy tatted on me. Wow, well, yeah, I gotta get that. Go. Yeah. Keep I on, never bro. met him. Damn. Yeah, bro. Like, we did a lot of legendary shit out here. Like, right. real shit, bro. We started this shit from now, the ground. Just blew up. Now, now I, I got a comment. You know, Smiles actually rocked with a lot of people, man. E Day is actually a guy that he was rocking with at one point. Yeah. Before I the know, shit really happened. Yeah, like, you know, though. Because, um, you know, I really set the whole thing up. Like I said, E Day and Smiles, uh, I got him in Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I set that whole shit up, bro. Like, um, uh, Ide, that's my dog, I ain't gonna lie. That's my boy, for sure, for sure. Okay, shout out Ide. Yeah, definitely a cool nigga. Yeah, definitely. Man. I spoke with him a couple of times. We never uh, got any work done, but, you know, Shit, good I dude. Shit, I probably do, bro. Be, bro, be working, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. But, but that's my dog, for sure, for sure. Like, for real. Some of them be, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. they made uh, The Forgotten, bro. That was, like, one of the most legendary I like that How I Rock song. Man. I love that shit. I'm I probably listening to it to now that you brought it up. Hey, that shit a mm -hmm. classic, bro, for real. Yeah. Like, we really could have changed a lot of shit, bro, in real life. Yeah. Well, it, it could change. Do you feel like it could change years down the line? Like, uh, you probably can squash it probably um, maybe I mean, five years down the line. Honestly, like, I feel like I'm a million percent sure shit in the city could change. It can get better. It's right. Just, the right people got to be in position. Yeah. You know for the And the right money. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of us... Ain't really in the right position right now. They love the controversy. Like, they're not trying to change anything. They hold, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't. Definitely. Yeah, I ain't gonna really, like, too much speak on another man, but I'm just saying, like, in general, like, like, y'all gonna see when I get in position, a lot of shit gonna change. A whole lot of shit. Because I don't right. get no fuck about the, the game banging shit specifically. You know what I'm saying? Breezy, right. BD, that's my, that's my brother. Oh, yeah. Can you speak on your uh, friendship with Breezy? My dog, 20 year nigga. Like, Damn. no bullshit. 20 yeah, I seen you guys on some pictures together. Yeah, bro, like, since kids, bro. Like, that's my dog. That's how I got cool with 600 and all of them and all that shit. You know what wow. I'm saying? Wow, okay. That's how that came about. But. So, you got, okay, so, cool with Breezy. Mm hmm. You know, Smiles, you and Smiles are, were close. Yeah, that's my brother right there. So how did it feel really like being, you know, cool with just both sides like that, man? Like, because a lot of rappers are not like that. You know, I know there's Chicago's Bo Deal, shout out Bo Deal, and he goes wherever, you know. Yeah. But it's not too many artists going to do that and actually speak on it with pride. Because, yeah, like, the thing to it is, bro, like, I am who I am. Ain't nobody going to play with me, bro. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even saying like I'm just like the toughest nigga in the world or no shit. It's just like I know how to move, bro. I'm real righteous. You know what I'm saying? I put a lot of people in position to win on both sides. I put money in niggas' pockets. You know what I'm saying? I help niggas with songs. I, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Both sides, bro. Like connected the dots for a lot of niggas. You know right. what I'm saying? So the niggas who got like the power on their blocks, they got I got their respect. You know right. what I'm saying? So I don't ever got to worry about no shit like that. Definitely. Like, so, can't tell me who to fuck with. Okay. Now, you've done a lot of shows, you know. How was uh performing at House of Blues with Jadakus? Oh man, bro, that was that was that shit was crazy, man. Like, that was my uh, that was my favorite show, low key. I always wanted to do the House of Blues, always. Oh yeah. Definitely. That was a dream man since I was a shorty, bro. I got to finally do it and I gotta perform with Kiss and the Locks and you know that was that's their last tour ever. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Legendary. Me and the shorty from the city just rapping at Cold Park, the performing out there in front of thousands of people, bro. That shit was that shit was crazy. Uh, okay, definitely good stuff. Good oh, stuff. Oh yeah, you know we got make sure y'all go check that out. That hood legend, man. Jada Kiss, that shit. We shot that shit out in uh, and why? Oh wow. Okay. What was it like? Well, how did it feel? Bro, I love New York. I ain't <laughs> good food. You know, yeah, I love the good yeah, food in the hood yeah, area, I'm man. New York, bro. I, like, I don't know what restaurant it is, but I think it's in 
best I, I don't know where the fuck that place is, but it's some soul food restaurant. It's very small. Mm. And you walk in and it's it's just a kitchen and it's very oh, hot. No, like most of the time I was out there, we was in like uh we was in Yonkers. Okay. And, uh and we was in Harlem. We was out yeah. there fucking with the G's in Harlem. Shout out my gang though, you feel me? We was out there in the projects and shit. Okay. Hell yeah, bro. And why that's where it's at. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely. A lot of good artists coming out of there too. Yeah, like we was out there, shit, we bumped to like uh, a boogie and shit, we chopped it up with him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I met a boogie through Bibby. Yeah, I was uh, I was chopping it up with Bibby. We was kicking it, and then a boogie walked up. Then next thing you know, we kicking it with him. So you know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We uh, did a little show with him in New York. That bitch was mm -hmm. rocking. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah All his shows rocking. are rocking. Yeah. Yeah. Shout Definitely. out to NY, bro. Definitely. Okay. Now I remember uh, King BJ from uh, Dog Pound. You know. He had an interview. Yeah, the Zach, Zach TV, TV interview. Yeah, a lot of people talk about that shit, bro. Like, shout out to BJ. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's my dog. You know what I'm saying? If anybody know they know, bro. Like, he BD, he stamped, though. You know what I'm Definitely. saying? But he a real nigga, bro. Like, Definitely. Love him like a brother. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. He vouched for me. He said I was a real G. He said I was a real gangster. You know what I'm saying? He know what the fuck going on. That's my boy. A lot of niggas don't like to see that type of shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. They don't like to see me be they don't like, in and niggas. Yeah. They don't want to see well, you know, they don't want to see you in as a whole, you know, just us in general. That's facts. All right. Yeah, so, you know, okay. Then um, you know, feel it, you know, one of the best records. Yeah, out, man, I ain't know. gonna lie, that like, that shit just that shit took off. Like I just yeah. dropped it and then um like friends just started hitting me saying like Did you know it was gonna take off like that? Like how did you Man, honestly, bro, I just I just dropped this shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, fans just start hitting me like, man, JD Kiss posted on Instagram said this was the raw shit ever. And then I'm reading the comments and they just said, like all type of crazy shit. Like, if you listen to it though, bro, like it's like undeniable. Like, okay. niggas not rapping like I'm rapping, bro. In real life. Wow. Uh, like, outside of all the gang shit and all that, bro, like this music shit, I go crazy. And I uh, feel it, bro. That's right. just the beginning, though. Okay, so now I feel like as far as the music goes, you know, Chicago is a transcending city and everything. I feel like if Chicago really did come together, they would probably make more than a lot of places that have a hip hop scene, like Texas, Atlanta, mm, whatever. Yeah, like, sure. really, like I'm, I'm really man, serious man. about that shit, you know. And it ain't got nothing to do with BDG wars, none of that. I think if everybody came together, it would be some serious money. You know, and, and yeah, you think industry right. niggas fuck with y'all now, they would be here. Like, mm -hmm. man. Man, bro, it's just like, um, honestly, some shit with certain people are just, it'll never be right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some shit, it's, it's never going to be fixed with certain people. It, it's you know it's mixed with egos and emotions, you know? Yeah, like, right. it's too much of that shit, but I can't honestly say it can get better. You know right. what I'm saying? It could be to the point where, like, you can have this person, this person, like, I ain't fucking with him, but it's like, I ain't worried about that nigga. I ain't for the diss. Right. I ain't mm -hmm. finna go to his show and blow his ass down, or right. you know, I ain't gonna catch him at the gas station and beat him. It's like, right. go ahead, just do your thing. I'm just do my thing. You know what right. I'm saying? That'd right. be better for the city, for sure. Right, definitely, definitely. Okay, mm -hmm. now I gotta ask, like, a lot of shows, sometimes promoters may book artists that don't really, you know, particularly like one another. Um, have you ever ran into somebody from, you know, I ain't gonna say from the other side, because you rock with both sides, but have you ever ran into somebody you don't like at a show? Um, not nobody I don't like. It probably would've went up. I ain't gonna lie about that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, only person I ever ran into that people expected for us to be in tour with was, uh, I ran to Duty Low. Okay. OTF, but he was cool, bro. Like, you know okay. what I'm saying? He was just saying, like, um, your shit was hard. I heard that shit. You know what I'm saying? You went crazy. I told him, yeah, you did your thing too. He rocked that bitch. You know what right. I Like I said, I ain't no hating ass nigga, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? He rocked that bitch. I rocked that bitch. He just said what we said. It just was what it was. Okay. You know what I'm just shit like that. Definitely. Okay. Now, right now, going on in the world right now, man, we got the COVID. Um, and, of course, a lot of rappers are being affected because it's not a lot of shows and everything. But they're getting back to it. But how is the COVID affecting you these this time around? Man, bro, like, that shit was like, 
it's a little better now. I can move a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, because the city opened up, but it's like right. no studios, no shows, you know what I'm saying? I had real moves I was supposed to be making, like, right. that I can't even speak on right now, but I got some shit going on, but right. it all got canceled because of this COVID shit. But, you know How did you feel when they, uh, that little uh, party, I believe it was out west, they, they trended, it made the news, TMZ. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was honestly mad. You know, yeah, I man. and I heard like one of the the songs that they were playing is a uh, is a shorty I know personally, and I was like, man, I could have been there. I could have been shooting the video for somebody there. I don't know who was there, but I was just like, damn, why can't I do like them? <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that know? shit was turnt. Yeah, it was. It definitely that. was. I don't think anybody caught it from the party either. I don't know. We would have heard about it. That shit, bro. Well, you know what? I, I hear it's like it's only taking people out who already got health problems. Shit. I'm thinking. Like probably, yeah, bro. For the most part. Right. Yeah, so it ain't really all bad. And they're still trying to have events now, like clubs are opening up, you know. Yeah, I'm straight on that shit for now. I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I just rather just keep I get to the studio, go make my money, I'll pop out, shoot right. a bid, only a couple people and shit. Be with my family, bro. I ain't okay. gonna touch that shit right now. All right. Now is there anything coming soon, man? Mixtapes, music videos? Um, anything. Yeah, um, uh, I got a few things. Uh, my next shit dropping, bro, is called Galaxy. That's like, okay. That's that's like my raw song and video combination to date so far. Like that bitch gonna go up. Like, um, I got like two songs with my boy Debo. Shout out my boy Debo. I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That bro is lit, man. Bro is lit. Yeah, we finna go crazy on some shit. You know, man, bro. You know, we trying to hold it down for the gangsters right now. Shit. You know yeah. What I'm so, How did you feel when he uh, remixed Crunk ain't, ain't Dead to GDN? That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was some shit. Okay, that, that was, was some shit. Boy. And all his videos are epic as hell, too. Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely. Shout, out, I, shout out Fly Tide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Fly Tide's a legend in this shit. I ain't gonna hey, lie. Real shit, bro. Sure. Like, Fly a real Definitely. legend out here in this shit, bro. A lot of people snoozing, but like, those are the type of people who I feel like gonna get it. Like, yeah. Uh, me, Bo, Flat Tide. It's like a lot of people who the niggas mm -hmm. sleep on. Uh, Ogun. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ogun. Um, yeah, bro. Like we really played a huge part in it, but like. D games. People don't see it. Of course, you know games mm -hmm. and they get they uh, niggas already know about games. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they get they. Yeah. They get their credit, but like you know what I'm saying. Right. Definitely. Yeah, it's a lot of shit dropping. I got King Hits, bro. I don't know when I'm gonna drop that bitch. <laughs> hey. But, but drop that been shit. On it. I got uh. That's why I got all my major features on. I got that that Kiss, Thug, Gates. Who are some of the, uh, oh, Gates? Kiss, Thug, Gates. Wow. Uh, damn, I miss, all right. Well, I'm tweaking. Damn, uh, okay. Big Gucci, Big Goo Wop on phone now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, them the features I got on that bitch. And of course, I got Smiles. I got my brother Definitely. on that bitch for sure. Any, any visuals coming with him? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. The shoe okay. Gucci dropping. Okay. All right, that's dope. It's called No Sense. That bitch gonna go up. Damn, okay, okay, okay. Definitely. Now how did these features come about if well you don't have to explain everything because yeah, I know I mean, you don't want to speak on like, everything, but you it's know it's like just just networking, moving around, being in the right places, uh you know what I'm saying? Okay. Some people you have to pay some you didn't like you Right, right, saying? right, yeah. It's never a problem to pay. You know, I think the baby paid Boosie before before he yeah, originally like, took off, you know. A lot of people like um the thing of paying is like um just being able to afford it really, but that ain't really been a problem with me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I stand on my business, I get to my money. So. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna make them, but that shit gonna go up, bro. Okay. All right. Definitely. Anything you wanna, uh, you know, tell the fans that we don't know about hits that we gotta know? Oh, um, man, bro. Like, in real life, I just wanna just tell y'all, y'all gonna be the first to hear this type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be one of the biggest and best to ever do this shit from the city, bro. Like, Already saying it, believing it. Real shit. I know it, bro. I just got, I just had to um, grow out of that. I just had to get my mind right. That's all it really was. And um, I feel like Smiles Pass kind of woke me up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So uh, just be on the lookout, bro. I'm going to go so crazy. I just want to uh, also shout out a couple of my homies who are going crazy. Um, who want fucking sleeping on. Because uh, Hugh Money going crazy. Skeezy 079, um, The Weirdo. Oh, yeah, 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 The Weirdo. That's my dog, I'm telling you. Uh, Real nigga. Rio Chini, Shorty Cole. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it's this girl, Marsha Nicole, she raw as hell. Um, 
That's just everybody I can think of just off the top of my head. And it's all Chicago? Yeah, all okay. Chicago, bro. Like, all raw as fuck, bro. Like, you can okay. see them. Real soon. Definitely. Okay. All uh, right. My my new Instagram is the real hits. Okay. Zero seven nine. That's H I T T Z. Okay. Um, further P Y N. Shout out Eli Hendricks. That's my dog. Okay. Shout out my homie Jew. Um, shout out Jank the Jeweler. Oh yeah 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 shout Jank. That's the bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Them all my dogs, bro. Like, that's real league boy shit. Like, we started all this shit. Shout out Jew though. You know what I'm saying. Shout out Yeah Yo. Definitely, Come definitely. On, my boys right there, gang. Um, right. Also, of course, I gotta say, free my boy Killer Kills, free my boy Flip. Um, they're my dogs. You know what I'm saying? I wanna shout out uh, Dale Gotti, bro, mm -hmm. going fucking crazy. Um, shout out Yummy, she's so cold too, bro. Like, that shit. That's everybody off the top of my head. Them all my homies and shit. You know what I'm definitely, saying? definitely. Showing love and shit. You know. Yeah, you know, shout out to you for the interview, bro. Oh, man, you know, I appreciate that shit, bro. Shit, appreciate you pulled up, you know. Show, sure, sure. anytime, bro. Definitely.